Hey guys, I'm that KSP guy, and in this video, I'm going to be building a rocket plane in KSP2 and sending it to Jewel. Now, the rocket plane is from a TV show and was recommended by somebody in the comments of one of my last videos. It's called the Thunderbird 1. So the TV show looks a bit creepy. Let me show you what I mean. I don't know how people are able to watch that without honestly getting horrified every time. But here's the build of it anyway. It's a pretty simple plane, but this build did take me a while, mostly because of glitches in KSP2. But let me remind you, most of those glitches are mostly gone since science. So anyway, I did the paint job. I did forget to color the bottom blue, but I fixed that. As you can see, the vector engine is firing, but nothing's really happening. But it did flu fly pretty well. Anyway, I do love these balls. They're so much easier to build with. And I'm going to slap the Thunderbird on top. And while I was doing this, I did some research. The show actually seemed like a lot of people liked it. But um, I was scrolling through the Wikipedia article, and look what I found. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself. So anyway, let's launch the rocket, except it jiggled more than your mom's ass. So it just kept going up, but it was pretty slow and, you know. And if you didn't understand what that was, basically I'm just saying that KSP2 rockets are wet noodles. Bruh. Um, so, yeah, let's launch it again. This only took, like, 30 years off my life, so... <laughs> you know, it's not even that bad, right? Except, once I finally got it above the atmosphere, it just spun around. And then I launched it again. There's another 30 years. I'm getting close to my time. Because... By the time I got it out of orbit, it wouldn't point prograde, and it just spun around in circles. By the time I finally got it pointing forward, it was out of atmosphere. So, you know, <laughs> let's launch it again. You know, subtract another, another 30 years from my life that I'll never get back. And it was still jiggling, let me remind you. And then, yep, guess what? It spins. It doesn't point forward. KSP2 what the heck so then finally i decided to launch it and this time it actually made it into orbit i know it but the only reason it made it into orbit is because i procrastinated doing this for so long that the science update had already came out so anyway Let's time warp to a jewel transfer window, and I got a nice encounter, so I'm just gonna speed that up a lot, you know, you know, all the good stuff. Finally, I'm leaving Kerbin for the first time, and going to jewel. Now here, I'm circularizing my orbit around jewel, and, you know, it was actually, like, not a very good capture, but I don't really care, because I wasn't trying to pinpoint my landing, so I'm gonna decouple from the mothership and descend. I did turn off ranch reheating. So anyway, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe, buy my Patreon, all the good stuff, join my streams, I've been streaming a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video.